One voyage I remember particularly well. Captain William Myers brought me on the Mabel I. Myers. Captain Myers was from Searsport. His son Ralph was the second mate. Harry Perry was the first mate, and he was from Searsport too. There were seven seamen plus the cook, mates, and captain. We didn't always bring passengers, but on this trip, we brought along Ernest Perkins and Dr. S. We were traveling from Boston, Massachusetts to Buenos Aires, Argentina in South America. We left the wharf on Monday, October 17th, 1892. The wind wasn't quite right, so it took us a few days to get out to the open ocean. I discovered three sparrows and a dodo who seemed to have also made the Mabel I. Myers their home. English sparrows are small land birds found almost everywhere there are people. The passengers probably gave them breadcrumbs to eat because they enjoyed the birds chirping. On Sunday morning, I snuck up on the cute little sparrows and the adorable dodo, and we made friends. On Wednesday, there was a commotion on the deck, so I went to see what everyone was looking at. A shark was following the Mabel I. Myers. I jumped into the water and bit the shark and ate the whole thing, even the pilot fish that were traveling with him. On Sunday, October 30th, it was our second Sunday at sea. I was quite enjoying my voyage. I had the important job of looking for mice and other small animals on board and making friends with them. I met a mouse and a hamster and they were BFFs. We were excited on Wednesday, November 2nd, when we received a very distinguished guest alongside the Mabel. He was a whale about 45 or 50 feet long. He came within 100 yards of us and blowed, then went down. We had a little excitement on Wednesday with a school of dolphins playing around our bow. There were 10 or 12 of them varying in size from three feet to eight or nine feet. Their antics and playing was something wonderful to watch. Dolphins prefer warm weather, but with my gray fur, I was getting rather warm when we were near the equator. A little after a week later, on Wednesday, November 30th, we came across a dog clinging to boards. He had been shipwrecked by pirates. We took him on board the Mabel I. Myers. Another week went by and we heard a haunting, ghostly singing. We went toward the sound and saw two sirens on a rocky island. The captain was drawn to them by their song. All of the sailors jumped overboard and swam toward the sirens. The Mabel I. Myers crashed against the rocks. I took the dog, my hamster, and mouse friends, and the three English sparrows and the dodo, and we climbed aboard the friendly whale just as our ship was pulled down into the deep blue sea by a sea monster. We saw the captain in the water and we pulled him onto the whale too. The end.